I'm back. If you've never seen me before, I'm Rishika from ANU and today we are going to put out these candles using carbon dioxide. So step one, light up the candles. Step two, I put a couple tablespoons of bi sodium bicarbonate into the speaker and make sure there's a spout in it. Step three, pour in the vinegar. So it might overflow and that's okay. And you can see it's reacting. Allow it to calm down for a bit. And step four, you're going to hold the container next to and above the flame and you're going to slowly tilt the container and pour just the gas from the container. Hey, I hope that worked for you. So you can use either one of this container, but we found out that if you use the container with a spout, that works better. If you don't have it, a tall jar would be just fine. Moving on to the theory. So fire requires oxygen, fuel and heat to burn. These are the three components that are called the fire triangle or the combustion triangle. If you remove any one of the three components, the fire goes out. Baking soda is a base and vinegar is a weak acid. When they combine, the immediate reaction creates carbonic acid. However, carbonic acid is very unstable and it quickly decomposes into carbon dioxide and water. So the bubbles you saw in the container that was full of carbon dioxide. And it was so much of it, in fact, that it pushed all the other gases out of the container and filled it with carbon dioxide completely. Since carbon dioxide is heavier than air, what happens is when you fill the container with it, there is nothing else in it. And when you tilt the container this way, you are literally pouring the carbon dioxide onto the flame. That means air can't get to the flame and it goes out for lack of oxygen. So if you're still here, I would like to discuss the chemical equations. And this is for the senior students. So the balanced chemical equation for baking soda and vinegar reaction is one mole of sodium bicarbonate, which reacts with one mole of acetic acid to yield one mole of sodium acetate, one mole of water, and one mole of carbon dioxide. The balanced chemical equation is But sodium acetate dissociates into its ions. So a better way to write this reaction is... That's it for now. I hope your experiment worked. Thank you.